Hey guys, Alpha 101 here, and today I'm going to be presenting a map called Force Skyrim. Now, Force Skyrim is a map that is obviously inspired by Skyrim, and it's basically, you know, one of the battles for, like, you know, the forts. I'm not sure if you guys have ever played Skyrim. If you haven't, you should really, uh, you know, just rent it, you know, or play it or buy it. Just, just find a way to play it, because it's a lot of fun. Um, but during the main quest line in Skyrim, you can, uh, well, one of the main quest lines, there's two main quest lines, but during the war quest line, you can uh, either have the Stormcloaks or the Imperials, and the Reds are the Imperials, and the Blues are the Stormcloaks. And Stormcloaks are better because they're just Stormcloaks and the Norse, and they're awesome. So, yeah, it's obvious that Stormcloaks are better. Stormcloaks for the win. Um, and, but yeah, there's a bunch of different kind of battles for forts that you have, and the main thing is you gotta kill all the Imperials or you gotta kill all the Stormcloaks inside the fort and then you have to uh, claim and garrison the fort. So basically this is like a reverse capture the flag game mode. So you start out with the enemy flag and you have to plant it in the castle. So it's, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. You grab the flag and you plant it. It's more like a game of assault than it is a game of capture the flag. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of different loadouts you can pick from. The main loadout is going to be a sword loadout. It's got a sword and a shield. And uh, there's a game mode that's similar to this and it's got a carbine and it's boring. That's just my opinion, but in my opinion, it's boring, and I never want to play it ever again. And everyone says, oh, it's so great. No, it's not. It's boring. It makes me want to chop my own dick off three times and then feed it swirls and watch them as they eat it. Um, but unlike in the um, carbine game mode, the hard light shield actually is very useful because when an enemy's charging their railgun, which is the bow loadout, then you can actually see the little blue light up here, and then you put your hard light shield up, and it'll deflect the shot off, and you won't take any damage. And it's it's a neat it's a neat little trick. It doesn't work all the time, but when it does work, you, it's very satisfying just to watch it flick off, and then you just that sounds really that sounds really bad. But it, once it you know bounces off, and then you like charge at them with the sword, and you slice them, and it, it's just it's a it's a really fun loadout to use. And uh, the second loadout is obviously the railgun loadout. The railgun loadout is just a railgun. Pretty straightforward. You shoot people. There's no benefits to it. It's just railgun. Otherwise, it'd be too OP. It's already been controversial whether it's too OP or not. Um, the next loadout is the gravity hammer loadout, which has mobility. It's very useful. It has mobility and it has two plasma grenades. So the plasma grenades aren't very useful, but sometimes if you see a guy charging a railgun and you know he's going to get you, just throw it. You might get a kill. You might not. Uh, it's just you know one of those little side benefits of picking it. And obviously, you get a gravity hammer with that. And then the last loadout is the mage loadout. You get a plasma pistol and two pulse grenades, <laughs> which is uh, a lot of fun to use because you just uh, you over you overcharge your shields down and you throw a pulse grenade and you just you just like Ugh, and he falls over and he disintegrates. So it's it's an interesting loadout. So those are the four loadouts. I think they all mesh very well. I've tested this a billion times, so I think the game mode and the gameplay is fairly well balanced at this point. And uh, there are three entrances into the castle. There's this back entrance, which has this little lift, and there's the front gate, and there's a side kind of mountain entrance, you could say. And uh, so all the entrances are very useful. The back, the back entrance is the riskiest, but it's also the one that almost always gets captured. Now, um, before we end off here, I just want to explain that there is some ordnance in this, and now it's not, it's not guns. Uh, basically, if you get enough kills, you get um, gifts from the gods, and you put down either damage boost, overshield, or speed boost. And I also want to give out a shout out to, I can't even remember all the people who helped me with this, but there's a bunch of people who helped me build the castle or work in the game mode or gave me advice. I want to thank you all. I don't have enough time to mention specifically what you did, but just know that I thank you and I give you full credit for whatever you may have done on this map. Anyways, I've been iPhone 101. I hope you guys enjoy the map and please download it if you guys want to. See you guys.